Shalom, Salamta, Tanaya Staline. I am Brother Spence on a blessed Tuesday evening, so called April 5th, 2022, rhetorically speaking. On this blessed evening, we're approaching the first week, or the first few days of uh, this Hebrew month of Abib, approaching the first of Pesach, or Passover, to the second day of Unleavened Bread. Seven days of matzah, or unleavened bread, according to Jah's commandments. We give thanks for that. Um, anyways, regardless of what we might call the Almighty Father of creation, regardless of what we refer to as God, or the Allah Hayyam, or Elohim, Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah, Eloah, you know, um, the Most High Jah and His commandments, keeping them through reverence and submission, the true definition of a Muslim spiritually, not so much religiously, but in its spiritual origin from the faithful Hebrew Israelites, the first Israelites, the first century Christians, and true Orthodox Christians who are anointed, were chosen and anointed as Christos, as Christ, little Christ, and therefore as faithful Yahudim, or a faithful Jew of Jehuda, one who praises Elohim, it's all connected. A faithful Jew, a faithful Israelite is a faithful Christian who is anointed. A faithful Muslim is one who is submissive or reverent to whatever is the will of Hashem, the will of the name, Yahuwah, Jehovah, Allah, the name of the Lord, a universal father creation. So we're able to burn down these uh, divisions that separate the vision of religion, uh, separate the uh, differences of denomination, you know, false religions mixed in with the true faith, the original faith of the great prophet Abraham or Abraham, many pronounce, you know, Ibrahim, the, the great prophet who was the father of the multitude, his son Ishmael, it was a covenant, but that covenant promise was through Abraham through Yitzhak and Yaakov, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now we have through that uh, we have through that anointed tribe of Judah or ethnic Yehuda, from Yasharal to Ethiopia, and the origin of all mankind in Arabia and parts of Kush, Ethiopia, and the heartland of Mother Africa. We have that oneness of all people, all nations. First to the ethnic Israelites. The original Falasha, Ethiopian, Yahudim, then to the righteous Gentiles of other nations, like myself, many like myself, according to lineage. So leprosy is more than just somebody of fair skin, like myself, of the, uh, the wild branches, or the Gentiles, according to flesh and blood, of the European nations grafted in, or someone from the, uh, the Asian nations uh, grafted in. You know, we're all called to be one through Christ in connection with Israel in a spiritual sense. But there is an ethnic Israelite seed of the remnant. So first to the ethnic Jew, then to the Gentile through the proper kingdom order of, of Jah will or Yah willing. You know, so it's about a oneness <clears throat> and true spiritual leprosy regarding this week's Torah portion meditation, mind you. Entitled Metora in the Hebrew, a leper, beginning in Leviticus or Raikara, chapter 14, verse 1 through chapter 15, verse 33. Um, laws for cleansing lepers. So even ones like myself might be descendants of, of uh, lepers, ones who got infected with leprosy but were cleansed, maybe still had the... Uh, the whitening of, of skin pigments in certain parts of our, who knows? 
or we're just many of us so-called white people or descendants of Edomites according to flesh and blood. It's all stemming from Shem, Ham, and Japheth, from the great prophet Noah and going back to Ha-Adam and Havat, or the original Adam and Eve, going back to Cush, going back to Ethiopia, going back to the origin of all civilization. So we don't get caught up on the, the skin tone or the different races or nationalities or that sort of thing. But a leper in a spiritual, prophetical sense, or a psychological or spiritual sense, those who have too much leprosy in their psyche, in their hearts, too much leaven, speaking of Passover coming up, um, too much leaven, that is spiritual leaven in their hearts, just like Christ himself, Christ Jesus, or Yeshua, the Messiah, and the first advent, as I and I, Lord and Savior, an advocate to the Most High Jah, our advocate to the Father of creation, as our Elohim, you know, as the true Allah of creation. Um, even Christ says, beware of the leaven of the scribes and Pharisees and the hypocrites out there. So we always have to examine our hearts. Many other people are in the truth, as what I would call my fellow Torah observants, even fellow born again or begotten again brethren and sisters in Christ Yeshua, you know, even in Jesus Christ, like other Christians outside of the original Orthodox Tawahedo faith. But, um, yeah, um, you got to get that leaven out. You need to be purified from that leprosy. And the ultimate high priest, the ultimate final high priest, or ultimate Kohen Gadol would be Jesus Christ. Not Antichrist Jesus. It's that whitewashing of the Romanism and schisms through uh, Catholicism and Protestantism and counterfeit Christianities and, and all that jazz. It's the whitewashing. Most forms of, you know, what we call today, most forms of Gentile Christianity or mainstream Christianity has been plagued with leprosy philosophically speaking or prophetically speaking. You see the image of Caesar Borgia posing as what they in the world call Jesus Christ, this whitewashed Romanized image of a tyrant, a womanizer, a rapist, a wicked man. Say so that's the image of what they call Jesus Christ. Along with that blasphemous image of the beast is the doctrine of the beast, changing the true seven day Sabbath from the basic main Ten commandments as it is written in the Bible today, in the foundation of Torah, the basic main Ten Commandments, with the seven-day Sabbath changed to so-called Sunday, with Roman pagan sun worship, dealing with entities of Hasatan and the fallen ones, not the angels of the Most High Jah, or the angels in connection with Elohim. See, so <clears throat> there is an Antichrist, Jesus, Versus the true Christ Jesus, whose name is Yeshua, Moshiach, the true Messiah, and the first advent, even to his majesty, as the one true king of kings in Jesus Christos. So, let us meditate on that. Cleanse your heart of the leaven. Cleanse your heart of that spiritual leprosy that plagues our hearts and our minds to go along with the crowd and just believe anything that they tell us. Stay caught up in politics, ism and schisms. Think about it. Racism, prejudice, this biased opinion of pseudo-Zionism versus the true African Zion or the African Zion. Think about it.